Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Dumpster Cam. Um, I know it's been a little bit since my last haul video, and I'm I'm sorry for that. And oh wait, let me turn the light on. Um, there we go. I do have a few home updates for you. Nothing major just yet, but I have been doing a few things, um, and I'm getting more, I'm getting excited to actually get going with the bigger things that I want to do. Hopefully this week I'm going to get started on at least one room, like a big overhaul. But I do have a few things to give you a sneak peek on. <laughs> um, but I will show you the haul first. I do have some dumpster diving finds. Nothing huge. Uh, it's actually pretty small. But I have some really fun things that I'm excited that I found. And I have some things I want to show you as well that I have thrifted. So let's start with the things that I found in the dumpster. This is from the thrift store dumpster. I have no idea why they threw this away. Um, I mean, it is separating a tiny bit right there, but they sell things that are literally broken beyond repair that can't be used. So I have no idea why they would choose to throw this out. Um, it is just a replica made to look like it's from the 70s. It says, I think I'll just be happy today. And I really like that. I think that's super cute and I like the sentiment of it. So I took that, and then I actually bought this one from the thrift store. It says The Adventure Begins. I wasn't going to buy it because of the colors. I love the colors, but they don't really fit with the colors that I'm going for. Um, but I really liked it, and I decided I would make room for it. <laughs> so I bought that one, um, but this one I found. And then I have a case of LaCroix Lime. I do not like LaCroix. However, my family does, so I'm going to give that to them. Hopefully keep the cans because you get 10 cents for each can. And as you can see, it is full. Right here I have a pack of light bulbs. It says broken bulb. So I'm assuming there's two good ones in there. I haven't opened it up just yet. Um, but it's like a soft white, big round bulb. So that's a good find. Let's come around here. This is not a dumpster find, however, it was free. <laughs> it's like a unicorn llama almost looking planter. I have a lot of plants, as you guys know, so I figured I could just plop one in there, and I think it's kind of cute. Behind that, I have a bunch of water, and I actually have more in this bag. You guys know how I feel about water in the dumpster. I hate, hate, hate when stores throw out water because there's so many things that they could do with it rather than throw it away. And um, there was actually another, not another case, but there were a few more bottles in the dumpster that they had, like, put their chewed gum all around on purpose, obviously. So it's just disappointing. But um, I got two small cases of water. These are completely filled. There's four of these big chill with added electrolytes. And then I have quite a few more of those in here as well. Um, and then last thing right here, I just have it in its bag still and on this thing because one of them is leaking. I think it's this one, but it's obviously not leaking too badly because they're still quite full and I've had them here for a while. Um, this is, I thought it was soap. Oh yeah, hand wash. Restoring hand wash. So I'll have to investigate where the leak is coming from. Um, but they look pretty good. They look like a good quality can't go wrong with hand soap. So there's that. Down here is something I'm really excited about. It's this very large stone. It's black. It's really like the the colors are really coming across on the camera. It's mostly just black, but there are a few specks of colors. Um, it does have some cracks, as you can see right here. Um, that's the main one, I want to say. However, I wouldn't put dirt in there anyways. I would just put a big pot like a big nursery pot inside of this pot, if you know what I mean. So I really like that. Um, more dumpster things. These waters. And then from the bed and bath store, here, let me, let me get myself together just really quick so I can show you this better. Okay, taking out a few waters. I have, I believe, three sets of these... Honestly, I don't even know what they are. I know they're bathroom rugs, but I'm not sure what else is with it. Let me check. Might not be three. Okay, so it's not a set at all. It's just... Sorry for this angle real quick. Just bear with me. Okay, so it's just a cute little 
springy summertime bathroom rug. As you can see, well, I guess it doesn't have to be bathroom, but it reminds me of the bathroom. Um, brand new, has the tag still on it. Let's see how many, well, there might be other things. No, there's just one more. So there's two of those. This one is like misprinted. That's interesting. But, oh yeah, it says times two. I could have guessed that. The paper says used times two. But they still have the tags on them. So I'm going to go ahead and guess that they were not used. <laughs> That's just me, though. They don't smell bad. Um, with bathroom rugs, you can always smell if they've been used and abused. But they smell pretty good. So I have two of those. I don't know if I'm going to keep either of them. Um, however, they are pretty cute. There's that. Coming down here, we have this little French bulldog. He is like an outdoor, he could even be a, um, a doorstop. I had three of these, and I had brought them to my parents' house um, because two of them, their arms broke off. If you can see those, the line there. I brought them to my parents' house, and I said, do you guys have any good quality glue that we could glue these back together with? And then I had to go to work, and when I came back, my dad had very kindly glued them for me. Um, however, he did a little bit of a messy job. It's been like a week, and it, this is how it looks. So I don't know if I'm going to sand it down and paint it or just keep it. It doesn't really make a difference. Um, you can still see it's a cute little dog. Um, but I had three of them. I took one. I gave one to my sister, and I gave the other one to my parents. It's just a heavy stone French bulldog cute little find there. This, definitely my favorite find of this haul, is a clock. It says broken, falling apart. At first I didn't see that at all, um, but it is popping out a bit here. I wouldn't go as far to say it's falling apart. It definitely is usable still. Um, it still has the plastic on. I even like the branding of it, Bee and Willow with the little beehive, and the whitewash in the background and the colors, and I just really like that. Um, so I think I'm going to keep this one. But I had actually found this clock first, and I hadn't found a clock in a long time before this one, and I was like, maybe I'll keep it, but it's not really my style. Um, this one does say defective. Again, it's in its box. Some people lie when they return things. I don't know. I'll give them the benefit of the doubt, but I bet it probably would work if I put some batteries in it. But I don't think I'm going to keep that one. Um, it has like a light wood on the outside, which I do like, but I'm not really a fan of the galvanized middle right now. That's not my vibe at the moment. And I think that might be everything from the dumpster. Oh, actually I have one more thing. Just look at the ground for a second. I have some other things I'll show you, but one more thing from the dumpster back in this room. This little stand. This also came from the thrift store. Um, it is not a high quality piece. Every time I moved it or touched it against something, like, the corners banged up and chipped away. Um, yeah, it's, like, really cheap. What is this stuff called? I can't remember. I can't think of what it's called, but it's not real wood. Um, it's just cheap. So, I, I got it to potentially put plants on. Yeah, you never know. So, that is the last of the things from the dumpster. I did actually find, I don't have it in here with me, I did find one black TV tray, you know, that you set up in the living room to eat <laughs> in front of the TV, um, but I don't have that in here with me at the moment. Uh, okay, let me show you a few thrift store things, and then I'll show you some home updates. I have these pillows, um, all from the thrift store. This one, I think, was the most expensive. Yeah, this one was... Ten dollars, I want to say maybe eight because it was the cheaper day. Somewhere between like seven, eight, nine, ten dollars. This one really nice. This one I think was three dollars, just like a muslin easy pillow. This one I technically made. I have a picture of the before. I'll try to throw in at the end. It was two placemats and then just an insert pillow. The placemats for the set was ninety nine cents and the insert pillow was ninety nine cents. So this was only two dollars. And I really like all the different shapes, the different textures, the different variants of colors. That's kind of what I'm going for. There's that. I have another exciting update for you over here. This did not come from the thrift store, but I'm trying to buy everything, like, secondhand. This came from Craigslist. 
it is 540 square feet of walnut ember java flooring that I'm going to put in my home. It is not like hardwood or anything, but I don't really care about that. I am going to need to get more, so I made sure they still sell, sold it at Home Depot, and they do. And I paid $180 for this. So I paid like $0.30 cents a square foot, which was a great deal. Um, it's very heavy. I did pick it up on myself, but I did it, and I really like that. So that was a good find. Let me just show you things that are over here. This cool little piece. Um, it had a $20 sign on it. I was like, is this really $20? They were like, no. So I got it for... I think two dollars um it's it's handmade i'm thinking it's pretty old you know i have some plant stands stuff like that those are brand new ikea curtains i got from salvation army let me show you the fun stuff now so i did have a pretty decent kitchen before let me give you the little peek of it behind here working dishwasher however it is old and a little bit ugly stove really dirty i will clean that and definitely sell that um but it does work. However, I didn't, I want to enjoy seeing my home. Um, so I, I had been searching for new appliances, new, and I found these. It took me a little while, but I found them at a great price. This dishwasher was only $50, and this gas range, I have all the top stuff over here for it, with the warming drawer and everything was only $200. So for this, only $250, which was a great deal. I'm going to replace the old stuff, and it looks great with the fridge as is. That was my plan all along. I'm not really a huge fan of stainless steel appliances, um, but that's kind of why I liked this one. It has a lot of black on it, and I think the gradient from the stainless steel to the black works well. So I'm excited about that. Um, and it matches the microwave that already came with the house. Just some random things. I got some shiplap that I'm hoping to put on the wall, some what is that called? Wallpaper. I still haven't taken this thing down yet, but I will. Um, and then this I'm so excited about. I just picked this up today. Here's the base for it. It's just really heavy. I haven't put it back in. It's, it's fake, obviously, but it's a fireplace, and I do have the little wood, glowy wood things that goes in there, but I've been wanting a fireplace so bad. I think it's so cute. It was already white, which is perfect. I love the wood on top. Look at how cute it is. So this is something I'm really excited about. Obviously, I still have this furniture in here that I need to get rid of. But I'm slowly but surely moving forward. So I think that is it for this haul today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel, Dumpster Cam. And I will be back soon with more dumpster diving-related videos. Thank you.